According to latest information, Chinese spy vessel Yuang Wang 5 has now entered the Indian Ocean, which is 10 days ahead of India's upcoming test of K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile. Interestingly, the Indian Navy is now planning to expand its fleet of spy vessels, which currently operates the INS Droof, that is suitable for long-range surveillance of nuclear missiles. Construction of a larger spy vessel with more sophisticated surveillance systems has been proposed, that can provide a 360 degree view of the Indo Pacific and the Indian Ocean region. As the Indian Navy brainstorms on which carrier born fighter jet meets its operational requirements, the American F A 18 Super Hornet has emerged as more attractive offer with foldable wings and higher payload capacity, along with the integration of 160 km range AIM 120D AMRAM and indigenous Astra Mark 1 and Mark 2 missiles. During his recent visit, the French Defense Minister had offered Rafale Marine at a much more discounted price and also offered to upgrade it to the same F-3R standard of the Indian Air Force and with more indigenous content, along with three used twin-seater Rafale aircraft of the French Air Force, to be used as an advanced training aircraft at a discounted price. France has highlighted commonalities between the Air Force and Marine variants, due to which India could save a lot in the infrastructure and spares costs. While Bharat Dynamics and Dassault Aviation have signed a MOU to integrate the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile into Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, but this integration will not be completed by 2025. Bharat Dynamics will require source code authorization of Dassault Aviation so that the fire control systems and radar can communicate with the Astra Mark 1 missile for which new software needs to be written tested and validated, and then it will move towards the carriage trials, that will be followed by firing trials. The Indian Army's latest bid to acquire 15,000 bulletproof jackets for its soldiers is likely to leave out startups and innovators, as clauses have been put in place, so that only the established companies with factory business license and registered manufacturing plants for the past two years can take part in the contest. There are no clauses in the tender, that prohibits the usage of Chinese uncooked materials in jackets. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Indian Navy is in talks with Hindustan Shipyard Limited, and will soon conclude the contract to build five fleet support vessels worth 22,000 crore rupees under technology transfer from Turkey's Anadolu Shipyard. The first fleet support vessel is expected to be delivered within four years after a contract is signed, and the remaining four vessels will be delivered at one-year intervals. Israel's Skylock Systems Limited and India's DCM Sri Ram Industries have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, for the manufacturing and distribution of various counter-drone solutions in India for both global and domestic requirements. The counter-drone systems of Skylock are modular and multi-layered, and it delivers comprehensive security for operating bases critical infrastructures and convoys against evolving aerial threats. The DRDO has handed over authority holding sealed particulars of the Army variant of the Akash missile to the Missile Systems Quality Assurance Agency. The transfer of AHSP marks successful streamlining of production processes of Akash missile, as well as successful establishment of quality assurance processes, and will enable the roadmap for future missile systems which are under production.